welcome back people to another series of tutorial video this is the fourth in the series and the third in the construction series so today we'll be learning how to draw an in circle in circle means a circle inside a triangle okay so few things that we have already done number one by now i'll expect you all to know how to draw all the angles using protector and compass you should be perfect by now now just to recap because we'll be needing angle bisectors for in circle so i'll just teach you how to draw angle bisectors i know we have already done remember drawing 60 degree and drawing 30 degree firstly we draw 60 degree and then we bisect 60 degree to get 30 degree we do we draw angle bisectors to get 30 degree so just a recap let me see uh, i have an angle of 40 degree i'll teach you how to bisect this angle we have already done it take any measurement a recap we could say okay so we are still in the lockdown and we are continuing with our math tutorial videos. This is how we draw angle bisectors. Yes. You all know by now. So if I bisect 40 degree, how much do we expect? 20 degree. Oh my god, my this one moved a bit. I hope you'll consider that because it's very difficult to put the camera in the right place and show it to you all. So let's check. Yep, it's roughly 20 degrees. So we all know how to draw angle bisectors. So thirdly, let's learn how to draw a perpendicular from a given point to a given side. So this O is a given point and AB is the given side side okay yes here we have it in the camera i'm telling you it's really difficult to maintain the camera and teach this okay thirdly what we need to know is we need to draw a perpendicular from a given point let us say o is the given point to a given side let us say a b is the given side so we need to know how to draw a perpendicular from a given point to a given side and these are the basically two things which i will need in this construction okay so let's learn how to draw a perpendicular from a given point okay this o is the given point take any measurement more than this line can you see oh my god i think my camera is in the wrong place yes i hope you are able to see see can you see this is more than the line can everyone see i hope everyone can see make an arc out here okay we have an arc now i need to shift my page a bit so that i can show you so a few things are already written so don't worry about it so with the same measurement make an arc somewhere out here okay with the same measurement make an arc somewhere out here yes this is how we draw a perpendicular from a given point okay since i'm having difficulties i'll be using this never use this use a scale please people i'm having difficulty so i'll be using this never use a protector to draw never use this no it's wrong okay people so we'll be learning how to draw an in circle and we need to measure the in radius okay so the first question is length of three sides are seven centimeter six centimeter and 5.5 centimeter it's a perfect example of a scaling triangle yes scaling triangle all sides are unequal so we need to draw an in circle to a scaling triangle with sides seven centimeter six centimeter and 5.5 centimeter so people I have already measured seven centimeter and then I have this out here ready so let's measure the other side actually I wanted to show you how to draw a scaling triangle since I have not shown it to you all in the previous video yes six centimeter so I can take either from B or I can take from A it doesn't make any difference so from B I have taken as six centimeter let's make the arc a little longer and then from angle from A I'll take 5.5 centimeter I have measured from the sample. Let me just put it precisely. Okay. So now I have my point C out here. So finally, the lockdown has relaxed a bit, and then I have this scale. I'm still in Namchi Sikkim in my wife's place. Okay, so let's mention the sides. This one is six centimeter, 
and this one is 5.5 centimeter okay so the first step is done the first step told us a triangle with given sides is drawn so you drew a triangle now let's go to second step the second step says angle bisectors are drawn which meets at the point O angle bisectors are drawn which meets at the point O so let's draw angle bisectors I've taught you how to draw angle bisectors when I started this video so that should not be so tough to draw take any measurement you can see out here yes always after that your compass must not move make sure you have your points I said the compass must not move if the compass moves your diagram will really be wrong yes so this is the angle bisector of angle B actually I can take any side any angles there are three angles angle B angle A and angle C so I'm taking angle A and B that way it becomes very easy for the kids so I bisected angle B okay now let's bisect angle A I'm gonna bisect angle A actually you can bisect angle C also but let's not make it so complicated take any measurement take any you can, your compass can move now you can take this much no issue you can take this much not an issue so let's bisect this angle Okay. It's really difficult to draw under the camera with all the setup. Okay, I bisected angle A. Okay, fine. Yes, I bisected angle A and angle B. This line can go beyond this also, it's not an issue. This line can go beyond this, it's not an issue. So the angle bisectors meet at the point O, as the steps say. Okay, now let's come to the next step. The next step is step 3. From O, which we got just now, perpendicular to the side AB, which is a base, is drawn, which intersects AB at the point D. So I've already taught you how to draw a perpendicular line in the starting of this video. So... O is the given point and AB is the given line segment so I need to draw a perpendicular I hope everyone is able to see this take any measurement can you see a little more than this line so once I have that okay let's take a little smaller than that can everyone see okay okay wait wait if this is captured in camera I don't think so this is captured let me see okay yes a little more yes yes I think this is captured now so let's make an arc here I've taught you how to draw this when we started this video I have my hand is blocking the whole view yes I drew this I'll use my left hand so that my viewers can see this so I drew this and then sorry I forgot to make a point out here always make a point so now your compass must not move your compass here and intersect that I hope I'm able to show it in the camera yes yes I can show it to you all as I've told you I need to check my angle so that I don't hinder the view yes this is the perpendicular so uh, the step told me the step told me which intersects AB at the point D so this is my point D the students haven't keeps on getting confused they write D out here no 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 it's here this is the point D now with let's go to the next step the last step measure OD measure OD and with OD as radius and in circle is drawn so you measure OD which you've got just now I hope I'm able to show it to you all in the camera let's measure OD but I'll try to show it to you through another angle so now with OD as radius and in circle is drawn. You're almost perfect. Almost perfect. So you measured OD and with OD as radius and in circle is drawn. We went a little outside out here. That can be considered. Uh, I'm telling you, I need to draw this under the setup of my camera. So it's really difficult. So if you all draw it precisely, you'll definitely get a good in circle. So let's measure OD. 
so I've got it roughly as 1.5678 I believe so therefore OD equals to 1.8 centimeter approx you all check how much do you all get thank you people let's go to the next construction 7.6 and 6 so 7.6 is here since it says angle included by those two sides included by those two sides are 75 so firstly what i will do is from a i'll draw 75 degree and once i draw 75 degree from 75 degree i'll cut off six centimeter okay i'll show it to you all so now 90 degrees ready and we'll be learning how to draw 75 degree i've already taught you all how to draw 75 degree we need to measure this and this yes 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 now it's visible in the camera so with the same measurement i'll keep it here and that's intersect i hope this is visible yes this is how i intersected so this is a 75 degree so always measure it with protector and check whether you've got 75 or not yes it's roughly between 90 roughly between 70 and 80 we have 75 so now let's come back to my question the question says the question says angles included by those two sides are 75 so this is a 7.6 centimeter and the another side this side should be 6 centimeter and the angle included by this side and this side should be 75 degree that's what the question is trying to tell you so what we did first was we had a line segment of 7.6 centimeter from a we made an angle of 75 degree and from 75 degree we cut off six centimeter yes i've told you people drawing an in circle again it's not the complicated part so i take a sample of six centimeter and then i keep it in a and from 75 degree i cut off this point which is which is six centimeter yes so this angle is here 75 degree so what will happen to so let's name this point as c again you'll be joining bc yourself so the trick is in drawing the triangle so you will join yourself never write this this is just for you all to understand so 75 degree is the angle included by two sides 6 centimeter and 7.6 centimeter Firstly, you draw 7.6 centimeter and then you draw an angle of 75 degree and from 75 degree you cut off 6 centimeter. So now our triangle is ready. So now we need to draw an in-circle to it. We know the steps. Yes, let's draw the angle bisectors first. So let me draw an angle bisector from B. I hope you are able to see this. Yes. It's too faded. Yes. I have bisected angle B. I need to be really, really accurate in order to get the right in circle. Now let's bisect angle A. Now I can see almost everyone is confused. So many arcs out there. So don't get confused. Take any measurement. Let's take a bigger, bigger measurement. Let's take this much. Okay, I hope everyone can see. Yes, let's try an angle bisector. I hope everyone can see this. So this is the line. So in order to avoid confusion, make a point, make a point so that we can avoid confusion. Now from here, I've told you your compass must not move. And this is the wrong way of holding your compass. Always hold your compass out here. This is the right way. Okay. Then you might be questioning, then why is Sir holding it this way? Because I've told you it's really difficult to draw in this setup, camera setup which I've been using. So yes, I have my angle bisectors of B and I have my angle bisector of A, which meets each other at the point O. So let's go to the step. Angle bisectors are drawn which meets at the point O. Now, 
from O perpendicular to the side AB is drawn which intersects AB at the point D. I've already taught you how to draw perpendicular when we started this. So let's go to O. I hope everyone can see this. So take a little more than that line. Yeah. Okay. We can make it a little smaller. Mm. Yes, in order to avoid confusion, always, always make a point so that you can avoid confusion. Wait a minute. Okay. Yes, I've already taught you, I've told you. So let's zoom this. So as the step says, look here people, look here as the step says, which intersects AB at the point D. So your perpendicular, your perpendicular is bisecting AB at the point D. So this is a point D. Students keep on writing D out there. No, this is not D, this is D. So now let's measure OD. Now look here, let's go back to the step one more time. Measure OD and with OD as radius and in circle is drawn. So let's measure OD. Remove the hand so that we can see. Yes, now we've measured OD. Now with OD as radius and in circle is drawn. Okay, it has gone a little outside. So maybe my compass might have moved, okay? It's really perfect out here, it's really perfect out here. So it's gone a little outside. You will draw it yourself, you'll get a perfect in, in circle. So let's measure the radius of OD and see how much. So it's roughly 2.1. So I want to see how much your measurement is. 2.1 centimeter approx. Sometimes if the compass moves, you'll not get an exact diagram here you see it has gone a little outside this is wrong so try to do it correctly but i just wanted to show the triangle and the steps